At 2.32 a.m. on April 4th, 2020, Ernest Wilson III went on Facebook Live during a game of hide-and-seek at a house party. What he didn't know, however, is that this would be his final moments alive. <laughs> Hit the switch, man. Oh, that, like, I don't know. I got a count out here, stupid. Go the other way. I'm coming to look for you first, girl. I don't even know I can ham up there and shit. One! Two. Three! Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, a lamb, twelve, thirteen. I can hear y'all. Fourteen, fifteen. I can see y'all. Sixteen, seventeen. Don't walk this way, cause you gonna get caught. Eighteen, nineteen. Thank you. Go the other way. You making it too easy. <laughs> Twenty, <laughs> twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, <laughs> twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, because I'm tired of fucking count. Ready or not, here I come. Lock the door so they can the open door on me. Ain't nobody in this bathroom. I didn't think nobody. Fuck. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. His ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving everything open. Ain't nowhere to hide. Next time they on y'all ass. Down here. Out of the front door lock, dumbass. I'm on your ass. One, two, three. Who the fuck is that, G? I don't know. Get your okay. Get your dumbass on the other side of this gate. Who the fuck? Dumbass nigga. This can't be one of my friends. Up on the grill. <laughs> hey, Pride! Flash it up! Hey. 
As you know, during 2020, the coronavirus pandemic was underway. With the vast majority of the globe in lockdown, Baltimore was no different. But for Ernest, this didn't matter because during weekends, he opted to host house parties at various Airbnbs for a small price. Lockdowns then just meant that more people would attend rather than going to a bar or club. Charging a small fee, he was able to recoup the money spent on the property hire and pocket a little for himself. After all, he did host the event. So, on April 3rd, 2020, he once again spoke out about hosting a party. Should I do games night again this weekend? We playing hide and seek at game night tonight. I'm having a game night tonight and tomorrow. Hit me up for details. Buy your own bottle because you ain't drinking all my ish. Girls, free entry. Guys, $5 because I don't F with you like that. With people lurking in his Facebook comments saying that they were going to turn up, it looked as if this was going to be a classic earnest party. A fun time with a huge game of hide and seek seek, they were all up for it. But it looks as if maybe he had some slight issues with parties in the past. Please don't show up with nobody I didn't personally invite if we didn't discuss it first, because they're going to get left outside. So it looks then that in the past, people may have turned up that Ernest didn't know. He kept his circle relatively small and in hindsight, his concern was understandable. Although lockdowns had been given the go-ahead, small gatherings were allowed in Baltimore. And so as the evening approached, Ernest went live at 6 E West Street in Baltimore to announce that the party was ready to go. Oh, yo, fucked up already. I was like, can they bring their nigga friends? Nigga, no, then. What I come up here for? Wex. This week, can come downstairs. I have to put it in the half of baby. We these. Lock my door. Cause nigga stealing. And if I catch in my room, I'm on your fucking ass. And there's people upstairs. Oh. Tell that girl she can come, cause Ayana said she waiting for her. Life. Get him, yeah. Yeah, the playground definitely used to be lit. And then there ain't no lights over there. I'm in my game night. If you want to come, DM me for the ad. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Cause I'm tired of fucking counting. Ready or not, here I come. Lock the door so nigga. The Oakley dope on me. Ain't nobody in the bathroom. I didn't think nobody. What the fuck? Oh, alright. Mm-hmm. His ass. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving everything open. Ain't nowhere to hide. Next time they on y'all ass. Ah, the front door locked, dumbass. I'm on your ass. One, two, three. Who the fuck is that, G? I don't know. Get your okay. Get your dumbass on the other side of this gate. Who the fuck? Dumbass nigga. This can't. With the game of hide and seek fully underway, Ernest, as you can see, was in a good mood. However. 
that wouldn't last too much longer. The man you see scaling the fence, from what we understand at this current time, wasn't known to Ernest, or if he was, he definitely turned up uninvited. From information that's been made public, it's believed that the man, along with another, chased Ernest into the property, announced they were there to rob the place, and let shots off, killing only Ernest before fleeing. A police spokesperson said that at roughly 2.45am, they attended said property, where they found Ernest lying in a pool of his own blood. Adding they were following leads and tips, but nearly three years on, there isn't anything to suggest that anyone has been arrested, let alone charged with this murder. The Facebook live stream did the rounds on a couple of Instagram blog pages, also receiving some small media attention, which is strange given the circumstances. The question remains then, was this a targeted shooting, or two opportunist criminals that had stumbled across a party? During blurred sections of the live stream, Ernest was captured with a large amount of cannabis and some cash. Some people believe this is why he was targeted. Two jealous individuals decided to rob and shoot him dead. Relatively speaking, they killed him for maybe a couple of thousand dollars at best. A young man's life was taken when he was just trying to have a good time with friends.